Let's look at subject verb agreement right now. The main rule to remember is that a verb should always agree with its subject and number. That is, a singular subject requires a singular verb, and a plural subject requires a plural verb. Example, green ink is often difficult to read. Ink is singular, the verb is is. It's also singular. Or, the desks are highly polished. Desks is plural. The verb are is also plural. There is agreement. Let's put this to use now. Try the, the, these three little um, questions. Where has or have the pasta gone? Dave and Chris work or works at the Learning Commons. Exams exist or exists to make our lives exciting. Where has the pasta gone? Dave and Chris work in the Learning Commons. Exams exist to make our lives exciting. Be careful if the subject and verb are widely separated. Do not be fooled by insertions in between the subject and the verb. Example, the wall, comma, as well as the floors. Don't let this part of the sentence confuse you. It is not the subject, so it does not influence the verb. Need repair would be incorrect because the subject is wall. The wall, comma, as well as the floors, comma, needs repair. The subject is wall. The verb agrees with the subject. Compound subjects. A compound subject is formed by two or more words, phrases, or clauses joined by and or or. If the parts of a compound subject are linked by and, the verb is plural. Example, the panda and her cub share a close bond. The panda plus her cub, that makes two, therefore the verb is plural. Singular subjects linked by or take a singular verb. Example, either Kobe Bryant or Mike, Michael Jordan was chosen the greatest basketball player of all time. Only one person can be the greatest, so it's singular. Plural subjects linked by or take a plural verb. Example, neither boas nor anacondas make good pets. Even if we're only talking about the boas, we still have more than one boa to consider. Finally, when a plural subject and a singular subject are joined by or or nor, the verb agrees with the nearest subject. This is a special case to uh, watch out for. Example, the dirt or dust particles pose a threat to your new furnace. Dirt is singular, dust particles is plural, and it's closest to the verb, therefore the verb is plural. But if we change it, and we said, the dust particles or dirt, we would change the verb to poses a threat to your new furnace. It agrees with the closest subject. Here's a practice for you. Poetry and fiction is or are forms of creative writing. Onions, sad movies, or happiness make or makes you cry. The oil company inform me that neither it nor its representative is or are responsible for the damage to my car. Here's how you would fix these sentences. Poetry and fiction are forms of creative writing. Onions, sad movies, or happiness makes you cry. Onions is plural, sad movies is plural, but happiness is singular and it's closest to the verb, therefore the verb is singular. The oil company inform me that neither it nor its representative is responsible for the damage to my car. The oil company is singular, its representative is singular, therefore the ver verb is singular. For more help uh, with subject verb agreement, go to Catalyst, and here is the website, and you, you can go to the editing section and get more practice.